What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're bringing you guys a meta team to help you guys push high ranks on that master tier. We're rocking out with Life Orb Dialga, alongside with Weakness Policy, Trick Room, Ice Fighter, Calyrex Squad. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, get on top of it. Seriously, take two seconds out of your guys' time just to scroll down a little bit and click that subscribe button and help me grow as a content creator. But before we get started here with today's team preview, we have two things to go over. One, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my boy Clover Bells. Thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. I will be leaving a link down in the description below to Clover Bells' channel. So definitely go over there. So I'm show him some Jeans loves. And uh, check out his content. He makes some awesome Pokemon content. So if you guys are interested in that, like I said, link to his channel will be down in the description below. The second thing I want to go over before we get started with today's team preview is this hoodie right here. My boys over at SCG sent me this hoodie, and I kid you guys not, this is the most comfortable hoodie I've ever worn. It's a gaming hoodie, so it's really light, but it has fleece. And everybody knows fleece are the best hoodies. I kid you not, it's super comfortable. Nice for chilling, just gaming, or just like all around activity. So if you guys want to actually pick some of these up, we got ourselves a little discount down in the description below, and a link to the uh, the merch shop is down in the description below too. Just use code Short Circuit. You guys get a little bit of a discount. But uh, let's get started here. Finally, with the team preview, starting off in that top left corner, we have Life Orb Diallo with the pressure and that Life Orb. We got Roar Time and Flash Cannon both for stab, and we got Earth Power and Power Gem for two coverage moves. Second Pokemon is going to be Incineroar over here with Intimidate, alongside with that Shuka Berry. So everything's pretty normal. I don't think I really have to go over this Incineroar. Middle left is going to be P2 over here, and P2 is really good for that Trick Room and just soaking up shots and being just like a pester on the field. It's got Trace alongside with the Evo Light, then we got Foul Play for big damage on physical attackers, Eerie Impulse for special attack drops, Recover for HP Recovery, and then obviously Trick Room for the uh, Trick Room. <laughs> Fourth Pokemon on squad is going to be Ice Rider Calyrex, one of those Pokemon who is just phenomenal in Trick Room. It's got this as one ability, alongside with the weakness policy, and then it's rocking Trick Room itself, which protect Glacial Lance and High Force Power, which is like a fairly normal, normal moveset for any Ice Rider Calyrex. Bottom left hand corner is support in DD. Everything's pretty normal besides that safeguard. It is rocking safeguard to protect us from like sleep powders and all that good stuff. So if we can set that up again up against like a Venus or something, it can definitely come in clutch for us. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Regilecki over here with the Focus Sash and the Transistor as its ability. It's rocking Thunderbolt, Bolt Switch, Protect, and E Web for speed control. Guys, if you want to write this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's hop to that master tier, get rolling with this team. As you guys know, the past couple of videos, I've been rocking out with some off meta teams. We've been dominating with them, but I figured I'd bring you guys a nice little meta team because you guys know I like to switch it up every here and there. Bring you guys some off meta teams, bring you guys some meta teams. It was about time we get ourselves a strong team to push master tier with. But uh, we're hopping into our first battle. This guy already picked his team. 20 seconds in. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. Didn't even think about it. He didn't even think about it. He's got Zacian, Yvelta. Throne Drink, Gastron, Incineroar, Regilecki, and Grimswell. I definitely got a Papa Trick Room, but uh, who should I go into to Papa Trick Room? We could go with it in with Incineroar of our own. Or we can go in with Indeed and P2 and just kind of roll from there. Or we can go Ice Rider Calyrex. Wouldn't know to be bad. We could go Ice Rider Calyrex, just follow me the shots, right? That really works wonders, doesn't it? I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. And then we'll bring uh, you know, Dialga in the back end. And then last but not least, hmm. I mean, Intimidate could uh, affect us a lot there. I mean, it could affect us a lot, but I still dig it. I still definitely dig it. And then last but not least, we could go Regilecki on our own, just for back-end support. I'm kind of digging that. I'm kind of digging that. Or I can go in with my uh, Incineroar. Incineroar or Reggie? Hmm. We have one here. I'm going to go Regilecki, just because we have that Focus Ash. That Focus Ash should definitely clutch up for us. I really like it, but we're locking it in. We're locking it down. Let's grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But you guys know the deal. Before battle number one even starts, you guys got to let me know in the comment section down below. For question of the day, do you guys think they should make it easier to team build? So, like, as you guys know, it's very time-consuming, and, and like, it takes a lot of time to build a team. It's not, like, hard, but it's it, it takes too long, in my opinion. I think in a new gen, they should actually make it easier so more people can actually get the competitive Pokemon. But you guys let me know, because I know some people like the game. So, again, comment section down below. You guys let me know. He's going to go in with Incineroar alongside with uh, Yveltal over here. And he's just going to be able to take me out no problem. He's going to be able to take me out no problem. But the worst part is this Intimidate's going to come out here. But I'm still just going to go for the follow me. I'm going to pop a Trick Room and we're going to get rolling from there. We are indeed going to get rolling from there. Let's do it. Let's do it, baby. So there's Psycho Seas. We are going to get that Special Defense boost, which is huge. And then, yeah, follow me. Trick Room. Easy. Easy, right? He might party shot this one. But if he does, he does. That's totally fine. Again, we're just going to follow me. Follow me, and then a nice, lovely little, uh, little trick room here. 
Nice, lovely little trick room. So let's see what he does. Is he going to Dynamax Shivelta? I can definitely see that happening. I don't mind. Because I'm just going to bring out the Dialga and probably Dynamax the Dialga after this. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. We shall see. We shall see. But yo, dude, this hoodie, man. It's so comfortable, yo. I just feel the fleece. Actually, I have no shirt on. I have no shirt on under this because sometimes I like to wear my hoodies with my shirt. Especially, it's summertime right now, so I went to kind of down a little bit. And this fleece is just like, it's like a blanket on me, dude. It's like a blanket, and I love it. But, uh, yeah, he's going to Dynamax his Shibelto. Oh, he's just going to take out Ndidi probably in one shot. His Incineroar probably going to get off a of Flare Blitz, but not take out my uh, Calyrex. There's no shot he takes out Calyrex. Right, yeah, Fake Out's going to come out here. You know that Psyche trains up? This is Master Tier, baby. He should know. Follow me. He's just going to fly out here. And Trick Room's out and about. And I wonder, what's he going for? He's got to be going for Darkness. Yeah, so Ndidi dies, 100%. Unless his Special Defense Boost can bulk us out, but I don't think so. Yeah, no shot, but still. That, I, that's why I brought Ndidi, to kind of counteract that uh, Fake Out and to allow us pop up that Trick Room at the bottom. So Ndidi, you did your job. Thank you so much for poking out here. Trick Room's going to come out and about. And at this point, I might just Glacial Lance and then Dynamax the Alga and Max Quake into the Incineroar just for that Special Defense Boost. It could be lovely. It could definitely be lovely. Or do I double? Or I can actually protect the shot here. I might just protect the shot from, uh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to protect for Ice Rider Cataracts, have him proc my policy, and we're just going to go from there. We're definitely going to go from there. I like that. I like that move. Because he procs policy, that'll put us plus one, and then I can Glacial Lance get off some big damage across the board, especially onto that Yvelle. So, I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm predicting the max darkness going into my Calyrex. We'll protect, soak it up, and then... I love it. I like this turn. I really do like this turn. We're hoping the Alga can actually take out Incineroar. We are orbed, but the sheer fact is it's a coverage move. It's not stab Max Quake. You know what? You know what makes me miss stab Max Quake? It's making me miss Extra. Extra was one of my was one of my favorite Pokemon to use on the Glider. Back in the day, T-Tar Extra teams it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Nice little Sandstorm action. Get the Sand Rush. And dude, I just loved him so much because he had he was Steel and Ground. Both those stab moves turn into defensive boost. Defensive boost and special defense boost. It's just amazing to make your team super bulky. And on top of that, extra already hits like a truck. So let's see what he goes into. I'm going to end up protecting. Which is a nice little turn for us. And then we should go first, right? He's going to go first, actually. He's going to Burning Jealousy me. Oh, he actually outspeeds me. Wow. He outspeeds me. He's going to go for that. And then we're just going to drop a Quake, which is beautiful. And hopefully it's KOs. Hopefully it's KOs. I would love it. I would love it to KO. To KO? turn off his console that's cool we'll take that win all day <laughs> we'll take that win all day he saw the max quake coming into his incineroar he's like i'm dead and then uh we can actually see how this turn plays out because i know when people quit the turn plays out but let's see if he was going after calyrex here let's see if he was going after calyrex i'm pretty sure the turn will play out here let's see so that happens what was he going for here incineroar drops out and he had to be going into my calyrex at this point right Did my plan work darkness into calyrex Is that correct yeah my, my turn played out perfectly. Look at that. We would have had weakness policy proc. We would have been dominating, but this guy turns off his console and we take battle number one. It's always a good video when our first battle we make the opponent rage. We love it so much. That battle was definitely in the bag after that. We made a great call by going into Quake and then proccing that policy with that Calyrex. Because Calyrex would have went first next turn. I could have Glacial Lance across the board. We were weakness policy proc. And we would have did big damage all around. But we're hopping into our second battle. We're going up against a Sunny Day Whimsicott team with Charizard. And then he also has the Kai Ogre. So he has Double Weather. And then uh, Calyrex, Regilecki, and Friend Guard Clefairy over here with the Evo Light. Okay. Do I pop a Trick Room? I mean, I could pop a Trick Room. But we got to watch out for Whimsicott in case Whimsicott is going for Trick Room. Uh, what do I want to do here? I feel like Trick Room's a must, or, or I can just re lead Regilecki and post a threat that way. I can go Regilecki, and I could also go Incineroar, which would be better. Or I can go P2. I think P2 could be a solid play here as well. I dig it. I dig the P2. Let's go P2. Let's go Regilecki. Let's roll out with them, and then we'll bring Calyrex to the other back end. Probably my best bet, right? Definitely my best bet. My only problem here would be, uh... Would be uh, that Shadow Rider Calyx. Actually, no, Shadow Rider Calyx isn't a problem because, you know, ghost moves do not affect my P2. So I'm liking this lead a lot. I'm liking this lead a lot. If he leads a Charizard, we outspeed it, we can hit it with a Thunderbolt. If he leads a Kyogre, we can outspeed it, hit it with a Thunderbolt. If he leads a Calyrex, I can pop Trick Room and be fine with that. I think we're chilling here. I think we're chilling here in Battle Number 2. This team's phenomenal. This team's really good, really greatly built. He's going to go Calyrex and Kyogre. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. P2 should be able to eat up. 
P2 should be able to eat up a water spout. I think I just Thunderbolt and I think I Thunderbolt and pop a trick room, right? It's gotta be my play. That has gotta be my play. Thunderbolt and pop a trick room. I am kind of with that all day. Oregon's gonna set Drizzle again. Imagine that would cancel it out. <laughs> like a double Drizzle. That'd be hilarious. But uh yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna chop a straight Thunderbolt. Get off as much damage as I can. And we'll pop a trick room. We shall pop this trick room. Because I am sashed, and I do not think a water spout can KO me. Or even, oh, can a max geyser kill me though? That would be a problem. That would definitely be a problem. It's just gonna protect Calyx. Okay, we're, we're, we're thriving here. I don't think Origin Pulse can take us out. It's gonna double protect. Cool. Thank you. Thanks for the free trick room. Thanks for the free, tr free trick room. So now, in this case, I use my Focus Ash, and uh, I Volt Switch out. I Volt Switch out, and I can foul play on top of this. Do I foul play first, or who do I, who, who do I go after here? Who do I go after? I'll Volt Switch onto the Kyogre slot. That's fine, and we'll just foul play right into you. That's fine. That's fine. So actually, Double Protect did work rather well for him because of these Pokemon right here. They're going to be able to get off some nice shots, like this Water Spout here, but that's going to trigger Focus Ash. And do we think he's going into a Astro Barrage? I wouldn't mind if he goes into an Astro Barrage. I'm not even going to lie. He goes into a Side Shot. Cool. What's that going after? P2? You should be able to eat that up, P2. Cool. P2 eats. We can Volt Switch out, and we're thriving here. I really like where we're sitting. I really like where we're sitting. I really, really like where we're sitting. I love where we're sitting. And the sheer fact why I love where we're sitting is because Glacial Lance can take them both out and I can recover with my P2. And then I could die to Max. This turn's amazing. This turn's gonna be amazing. Look at this, we're just gonna recover our P2 HP, double kill with Glacial Lance, and then go plus two and then Dynamax him and pretty much just, just seal this match, right? It's looking gorgeous for us. It is looking so pretty for us. Unless we can't take out that Kyogre, but I feel like we could definitely take out that Kyogre. What's he gonna do here? What are you gonna do here? We'll just take HP, we'll take free HP. If he wants to double protect and waste out trick return, then I'll double recover. It's fine. Protect can come out here. Is he double protecting? He does. See, I knew he was going to go protect. I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to go up full HP here. Or I can swap and get out the Alga at this point. I could swap and get the Alga at this point, but I think I'd rather just recover again and bring P2 back to full health. That's got to be my play. That's got to be my play. That's got to be my play. Same thing. Run it up again. Run it up again, yo. That's love. This, these are some good turns for us. These are some great turns for us. So he's either gonna swap, he's gonna swap, okay, or he's gonna take a, take a death. So he's gonna bring out Clefairy here. Clefairy coming in hot. What's Kyogre going for? Kyogre gonna go for double protect. He's gonna Dynamax. Wow. That might have been one of the smartest plays I've seen. That was like his la last ditch kind of effort kind of play. That's really smart for him to do. It's Dynamax here. Wow. That's a surprise. That is definitely a surprise. Him to Dynamax here. I dig that play. I do dig that, but I was not expecting that. Wow, we were looking so good. We were looking so good. But we'll recover back to full HP. Glacial Lance should come out here. How much damage are we going to do that Kyogre? See, we would have taken out the Kyogre. We would have definitely taken out the Kyogre. He's going to Geyser now, and he might take out my uh, Calyrex here. Oh, he goes after P2, and P2 is able to soak. Let's go, P2. So at this point, I'll Glacial Lance again, and I will just recover. You think I had an ally switch? Maybe, maybe not. He's gonna end up protecting Clefairy, that's totally fine. Is he guarding here? Hey, he's just wasting out tricking things. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that, because I'm just gonna keep recovering HP with P2. But I might need P2 to pop another, uh, pop another Trick Room soon. How many turns left in Trick Room? One? I think we have one more. I think we have one more, right? Yeah, we should have one more. Okay, so we have one more turn left in Trick Room. Oh, no, we don't. Ouch. Uh, what about Trick Room? What about Trick Room? With? Actually, P2 can uh, is able to soak. P2 is able to soak this uh, shot, so I'm just going to Trick Room with P2. Once the guys are... Oh, no, now we can't. Now we cannot. Now we cannot, but at this point, if he brings back out Calyrex, I can bring out uh, Regilecki and get one with that. Now, P2's dead here. 
Yeah, I, I didn't I didn't take the count in for helping hand, so I was gonna trick him with Calyx, which definitely would have been a play. But he resets the rain, and I don't think this is a bad turn for us. I don't think this is that bad of a turn. Glacial Man's gonna fly. It takes out Kyogre all day, and it brings Kaferi down to one. And I think he brings out Shadow Rider Calyrex at this point, right? I think this turn we're chilling. I think I pop a trick room with, with my Calyrex and bring out my Regilecki because Regilecki is faster than uh, Calyrex. And we can just pop an E-Web because we know we have that Calyrex low health. Yeah, he throws out Calyrex. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. We'll take this all day. So this is just an easy E-Web double kill and then pop a trick room just to secure the victory. I love it. I love it. I love it. I like this turn. I like this turn a lot. Wow, our opponent did actually make a great play by Dynamax that Kyogre. That was like a last-ditch effort, but we still have him on the fence here. We still definitely have him on the fence. We'll pop another Trick Room. We'll go into a beautiful E-Web, and we'll get rolling out here. Right? That should be GG's pretty much. He's going to protect the Calyrex. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that, because we take out Clefairy all day. Clefairy, see you later, buddy. And then, you know, Trick Room's going to be popped, and then Calyrex can just pretty much sweep this battle out. So Clefairy gone. Mwah. Thank you guys so much for coming out. This was a great battle, but it is over. It is over. Trick Room out. Back out and about. Dude, I feel like Trick Room's like the strongest thing ever. It's so powerful. It's so tough to play up against. Like, if you do not counter it, chances are you lose the match. I feel like if I don't counter Trick Room and I have to play it out, I lose to it 90% like of the time. And he brings out Regilecki. This is just an easy, easy Glacial Lance here. And a Thunderbolt, I guess. I guess a Thunderbolt. It don't matter, but I think he just cancels the battle, right? He's going to go for Double Protect. Sorry, Calyrex. But, uh, you gone. Get him on out of here. Regilecki will die if it's not Focus Ash. And that's going to be GG's. That's going to be GG's. See you later. No Focus Ash. No Focus Ash. Beautiful. 2-0 for today's video. We are on an absolute tear. We got up to our third and final battle. And look for another perfect record. Third and final battle coming at you guys. And we're looking for another perfect record. This one's looking like it could be tough. Because he has the Confi and the Zekrom combo. And Confi can counter Trick Room by popping a Trick Room. Oh, he also has Grimmsnarl. He has the, uh, what is that Pokemon? The Zekrom, and then he has Kyogre and Snore and Urshifu. Okay, Urshifu can do work on a lot of my Pokemon. So that's why that Pokemon is scary. But who should I lead? Who should I even lead here? I want to put out a Pokemon that could uh, pop trick him. So it's either Calyrex or Pito. I'm kind of leaning towards Calyrex here. Maybe with that Ndidi so we can block him. You know, or not the follow me, the, the fake out if he wants to leave I think I'm just gonna go Calyrex. I think I'm just gonna go Calyrex here. Even though if he does go Intimidate, that's totally fine. But my problem would be if that Confi like, goes into a trick. You know? It's just always a problem. It's just always a problem. But yeah, I'm gonna go in with them too. I'm gonna bring Dialga and last but not least. I gotta bring Regilecki. I gotta bring Regilecki. Maybe Tailwind ends later in the match. and uh, Well, not Tailwind. Maybe Trick Room ends later in the match. And Regilecki can get it out there like he did last time. It really came up clutch for us. But yeah, this is gonna be the squad we bring. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. I would love to get myself a perfect record. This team, those first two matches, I, they felt so easy. They legit did. I was just like, okay, we can pop Trick Room. We can do this. We can do that. We can do this. And it's over. I was just like, bing, bing, bing. There's three, two wins. That's why this team is so good on the Master Tier. Clover Bells, another huge shout out to you for me. Gonna end up going into here and uh, uh you can water spout at this point. Um, I think we can eat up a water spout. I don't know. Hmm. What do I want to do here? Can Caldex eat up a water spout? This is why I probably should have went into uh, Reggie here. Let's see. So Fake Out can't come out here. He could set up easy screens, but uh, water spout's definitely scaring me. Water Spout is scaring me. Do I follow me the shot? I don't think we follow me the shot. I don't know. I feel like that could be a waste of turn. We know he's going into Water Spout, but Rimstarl could also go for like a hit. So, you know, I'm still just going to go for the follow me. I'm going to do it just in case and just pop a trick. Room. I think Calyrex should be able to soak up a, a Water Spout here. I really do think he can. I really do think Calyrex can. He's going to end up going with the Reflect, and I knew that the following was going to be. Um, I'm cool with that. Again, I think Calyrex can soak this up. And he goes for an Origin Pulse. That's even better. So I can 100% soak that up. The Origin Pulse is not taking out my Calyrex. Thank you very much. Let's take out my DD, but Calyrex is fine. Beautiful. So Trick Room's out and about. He does have Reflect up, which is a little scary, but at this point, I can just bring out the Alga and Dynamax him, right? Going to Max the Alga and just save that little Reg Lucky for the back end here. Save that Regilecki for the back. Okay, uh, Dialga's gonna come out here and 
do I go after? That's the real question. Because I'm definitely Dynamaxing him. But I just don't know if I should go after the Kai Ogre or the Grimstone. Because I can take out the Grimstone easily. I can just finish him off. But I think at this point, I want to go for a Quake and get off as much damage as I can. Him. And then maybe just Glacial Lance across the board. And save my Protect. But I feel like the combination of Quake and Glacial Lance should be able to take out Kai Ogre. And then uh, Grimstone can't take out my Calyrex. But he does have Reflect up. He doesn't have Light Tree. So hopefully he doesn't go for Light Tree. Which he probably would. But uh, let's see. He's going to end up withdrawing. Oh, he withdraws Grimstone. Who are you going to go into here? Incineroar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Incineroar come out here. And hopefully he's not Dynamaxing the Ogre. Like I said, I think the combination should be able to take him out. Maybe, maybe not now with his Intimidate off. We shall see. We shall see. And he is going to... Yo, you're Kai Ogre slower than my Tialga? That's weird. That's weird. I know when I was talking to Clover Bells, he was like, he was like, the Sialga is made a bit faster, but I didn't expect it to be this fast. I probably should look more into it. <laughs> I probably should look more into it. Let's see how this one plays out here. We'll Dynamax here. We'll get rocking. Um, yeah, I think Calyrex goes out. I think Calyrex drops out here, but the Focus Hash could come up much for us. Tough news, tough news, tough news. Top news. Let's see. I like should go first, but still, it's not gonna do that much. Yeah, poopy damage. Poopy damage comes across the board, and he's gonna drop a geyser into Calyrex if I had to guess right. Calyrex dies out here. Yeah, sorry, Cali. Sorry, Cali. He gone. Calyrex gone. And we'll go after Incineroar next turn with another next quake. He takes some life orb damage, so we should his item. I mean, we already saw his item though. Quake's gonna fire. I wish we went to the Incineroar slot. And Quake's gonna chip up bad damage, bro. I really only did it for the special defense boost. We'll take that special defense boost all day. Okay, so now he has fake out raid roll. I think I just had to protect Reggie, right? I think I have to protect Reggie and go after the Incineroar. I mean, who else does he have in the back end? Because he could always parting shot and swap Incineroar, knowing that I'm going for like a Quake into him. Because we know Quake takes out. Does he have any Pokemon that can dodge Quake? Nah. Alright, we're thriving with that. I'm going for another one then. I'm going to go for a Quake into here, and I'm just going to protect Reggie just so we don't get faked out and we're, like, dumped on by that Kyogre. So we'll protect Reggie. The Fake Out. Show me the Fake Out comes onto that slot. No, he goes straight for the Parting Shot, dude. Wow. Power move. Finesse move right there. Finesse move. So we still have Focus Ash, which is great. Wow, we read that Protect hard. That was kind of an easy Protect to read, but we'll see how he plays this one. He's going to go into his next Pokemon, which is going to be... Grimstrong's going to come back out. Dang, dude. I wish I would have Steel Spiked him then. I wish I would have Steel Spiked. Guys, he's going to fly here. I think he's going after Reggie, isn't it? Reggie, no. It is going after Reggie. God dang it. Wow. Wow. So we should have just... We should have just... We should have just went. We should have just went because of the what's it called. Because the Focus Ash would trigger. We're on 19 health. It's awful. Quake comes out here and almost bodies him. Almost takes him out. We get a crit. It's a big time crit. And, uh, what do we do from here? Kyogre's rather annoying at this point. I think we have to go for double protect, right? Because how many turns left into Trick Room? We need Trick Room kind of end here. Two. That's that's not good. That's not good for us at all. That's not good for us at all. Not even close. I guess we'll take a defense boost and we'll try to ride this one out. Okay. And I think we'll try to... Protect. I don't know. I get now. Nah, we'll try to Thunderbolt. If we can get that off, we can get it off. But I think maybe we should went for double protect at that point. He sets up a light screen. Ooh, are you going after Kyogre? Or are you going after Regilecki? This could be a solid turn for us. Are you going after Regilecki? Go after Dialga here. No, he takes out my Reggie. He takes out my Reggie and he sets up a light screen. Okay, so we don't get swept, which is a good thing. But uh, Dialga's pretty much boosted on a lot of defensive stats. He's plus two on special defense, plus one on defense here. And we get rid of Grimstone, who has screens up all day long. He has a ton of screens up. A ton of screens up. But uh, yeah, I don't think Diablo coach this one up. But I'll take it. I'll take a two and one record. We'll take it all day. We'll take it all day. But yeah, Dynamax is gone, and it's a three v one situation. It's a three v one situation with Incineroar probably coming out. Here. Yeah, Incineroar came out here. We do not have protect, so he's just gonna fake me out and do some work onto me. Maybe he doesn't go for that. I don't know what he would do though. We're still minus one. We're still minus one. And after this turn, we will take speed back. 
Okay, I'll take speed back. And uh, who do I go after? I really want to roar time, but I can't. I really want to roar time. Uh, what should I go for here? That's power power play. I really want to just roar time, but I can't move after that. I'm just going to go into here. It's tough. This is real tough. He has a screen setup. I might just roar time this uh, Kyogre. Okay, he withdraws the Kyogre. Is he faking out this turn? Oh, he can't. He can't fake out this turn. And he brings out this guy. And this guy's definitely going to finish, finish him off. That's GG's. He's going to go back into Kyogre on this slot. And he's he's just chilling here. He's just chilling here. That's the match. That is the match. So I'm going to run this after this because I don't feel like getting a close combat right to the mid. I really don't feel like having that. Actually, I'm defense boosted. Maybe I can make something happen. Maybe I can make something happen. Maybe we get some crits. Maybe we can thrive out with that. That'll be beautiful. So Earth Power's going to fly. Built. Psh, doing nothing. We lost more HP to that. We lost more HP. I'm going to go for a roar time. Just to see if we can, uh, we can land it. And I kind of want to see if we can eat up this up. Which I don't think we can, but still, we're going to go for it. Four time coming in hot. Should have taken out the Kyogre just so we get another KO, but we'll see. We're minus two. He's definitely going for close combat. Let's see. Nope, he goes for a Wicked Blow. Wicked Blow comes in hot. We eat that up. Yaga should go next. War time's coming out here. How much damage were we doing with War time? Probably not enough to kill it, right? Yeah, nah, 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 nah. Nah, nah, nah. We dead. We dead. This thing's gonna go for an Ice Beam. And I think we soaked that up all day. So my Dialga does not die. Oh, no. We died to that. Okay, cool. Never mind. I was plus two on special defense, and I, and I really died to that. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. But it's all good. We got two and one for today's video. And we grab ourselves a winning record. One last huge shout out to my boy Clover Bells for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. I really appreciate you. This team is amazing to push Master Tier. So if you guys are looking to push some Master Tier or high rank in Master Tier, get on top of this team. The code is right at the bottom of the screen. But the Dialga and Calyrex really carry the team. It is fairly easy to set up Trick Room 2 with the Calyrex or the P2. And then you got Ndidi and Cinderwolf for support and Regilecki who is great when Trick Room is not about. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.